there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. It's really bright out here from my blue eyes. I'm in my backyard. Uh, this is the back backyard. If you guys are new, I have a side backyard as well. We have a new KB Homes build and we've been working on getting this ready. So recently my husband, my brother-in-law and some friends have helped put in some sprinklers in both of our yards and this back backyard has a lot of extra dirt and the side backyard is like missing a lot of dirt before we add some grass and uh, manure blend and all that stuff. So I just want to show you guys like a little glimpse at what the yard kind of looks like. I really didn't film the process partially because my husband doesn't really like being on camera. <laughs> um, so, you know, I didn't really get that. But what I'm going to be doing today is trying to really rake a lot of the dirt and bring it this way so that it's easier to transfer to the other yard and hopefully we'll have enough dirt to work with. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm, you know, gonna get sweaty and gross out here and I hope you guys find some entertainment in that or at least enjoy watching dirt be raked. <laughs> so it rained recently, so that's why we have like a little puddle there, but we have like, let's see, one, two, three more sprinklers going that way. We have one in the middle and we have like two along the outer edge and maybe like two more on this or three more on this side. So they did a really good job at like digging all this up and putting all the sprinklers in. Juan did a really good job at working with all of this. It's intimidating to me. So I'm glad that he understands what needs to be done. And then we got the sprinklers over here in the side backyard. They're all like dug and, um, packed back in so they're all they've all been covered up but as you can see like there's a lot of dirt that kind of needs to be filled in here so I'm hoping that we have enough especially over there as you guys can see like there's a big gap from the sidewalk to our dirt area and then another thing actually that was done was um, we put in like a little irrigation drip system uh, you can kind of see the footprints of where it was, the dirt was packed in over it. So now I don't have to hand water all of these plants along our back wall. And I'm super excited about that because it was kind of annoying. We got some little buds on our gardenias. So I'm excited to get some white flowers back here in the spring. My mother-in-law gave me a poinsettia. I know this looks really sad. It looked a lot better, but we had really high winds the other day and these were just like blowing all over the place. So we're gonna see if this uh, poinsettia survives. If not, it's not a big deal because I heard that they do actually get pretty big. So maybe I don't want something that big back here, but we're just gonna see if this works, if this survives whatever else the weather has to throw at it. Some of our garlic plants are getting their flowers. So this is kind of nice to see, you know, they're, they're thriving. The bougainvillea has, you know, been hit by the wind. Um, it had some really pretty flowers recently, but they've blown away. And uh, I think, you know, I think it's still gonna be okay. It's, it hasn't died on me yet. And then we got my green onions, which are like really doing well. Like I got a whole like teriyaki dinner just in one of these things. And then, yeah, I could definitely have green onions forever. This is my romaine lettuce that I grew from leftovers from the grocery store. It's obviously not making lettuce, but it will hopefully produce some good seeds for us to plant our own. And then I replanted some of Aubrey's marigolds from like a little pack that she got at a birthday party. And it looks like they're gonna be flowering soon. So I'm excited about that just, you know, for her and her little garden plants growing. And my avocado tree hasn't died yet. I haven't had the best luck in the past with avocado trees. So I'm just excited that, you know, this is still alive. Hopefully in the coming years, it will produce fruit and I can make some yummy guacamole. But that is enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and try to rake all this dirt.
Okay, well, I'm exhausted, and that was only one of our two backyards. We got the other one over here, and there's no way I'm doing that. I'm gonna go and shower because I think Jack will be waking up soon, and I just need to rest a little bit before I have to go back into like full on baby taking care of mom mode. Actually, the last thing that I'm gonna do that since it's bothering me is all of the dirt around our little sidewalk. I'm just gonna sweep in and then call it a day. Well, it's definitely not perfect, but it will do. I think it looks a whole lot better and I'm excited for us to finally have grass back here. Hopefully in the coming months, you guys will see the progress and we'll be just as satisfied as we are. But anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. A totally unrelated, this may be one of the last videos you may see me with long hair. I'm contemplating getting a pixie cut, not because I think it will look good on me. I really don't know how it'll look on me, but just because it's my hair is always in a ponytail, I might as well just like, you know, fluff it up after a shower and just call it a day. So that will, you know, be a big change coming in our channel. Just warning you because I know that it's going to be like night and day. But anyways, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new here, I'd like to invite you to check out all of my other motherhood content. Uh, and if you guys enjoy that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.